All right. If a story be currently being circulated is to be believed, it looks like the Daywalker could be returning to the big screen. According to a new report in Bleeding Cool, Marvel Entertainment has recently halted development on a new Blade comic book series in order to use the plot for a potential new Blade movie. The plot of the new comic book series was said to revolve around a 16-year-old girl who always knew there was something different about her and then discovers she is actually the daughter of the half-vampire Blade. Actor Wesley Snipes recently claimed at Comic-Con that he had met with Marvel at some point to discuss possibilities of his return as Blade, but nothing official ever came out of it. Schnepp, do you believe this report? And if so, what would you think about a new Blade film with this sort of storyline? I like the idea. I mean, I wonder if they're going to try to do like some kind of a Netflix deal and do a Blade you know, TV series. I mean, it seems a little weird to try to bring Wesley Snipes into the Marvel Cinematic Universe after already having done all those Blades that weren't part of it. I, but I'm not opposed to it, so I like the idea. I would much, I would love to see, instead of just doing a Blade movie, do like a Midnight Suns and have the werewolf and, you know, Frankenstein, all the monsters, Ghost Rider, all of them in one film. So I think it's a cool idea. I, I don't think I believe the story, but if it is true, I think it's rather interesting because... Look, one of the big things I've always said about that is a hindrance to Blade coming back and being part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Blade don't fit right. into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Maybe you can find a way to make him fit, but that requires a, a reboot of the character that is a, you know, a, a hard PG-13 type of character or whatever, not Wesley Snipes. Although, you know, what does make this interesting is those stories we heard coming out of Comic-Con about Wesley Snipes claiming he had met with Marvel at some point and nothing really came out of it. Something like this... I always said you can't bring Wesley Snaps back as Blade, but a storyline that kind of focuses on a 16-year-old daughter of Blade, all of a sudden now Wesley Snipes goes from, ah, it's too late for him to be Blade again, to Wesley Snipes would be perfect for this. So there's a lot of big questions that still have to be answered. How do you fit a Blade into a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe? Would Marvel then look at this as the first film they do in a long time that doesn't exist within their main cinematic universe and actually exists outside of it in, in another sort of universe. I don't know. It raises a lot of questions. I don't think I believe the story, but if it is true, it raises some interesting possibilities. Christian, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know if I believe the story either, but I, I, I would be interested in it. And I think that if it is true, the one thing that, that Marvel is going to be looking at is the success of Deadpool. Because right. Deadpool is the rated R film. It's a comic book movie. How does it do financially? Um, and then if, if Fox goes and makes a successful rated R comic book movie, then Marvel can come out swinging with Blade if they wanted to. Because right. Blade, for I think, doesn't get enough credit. Because, yes, X-Men started a big craze with superheroes. But Blade kind of was there first, yeah. you know, in, the, in like 98 or 99, 99, whenever it came out. Um, so I'd like to see it. I, I think it could fit into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I, going off of Schnapp's point with, the, with Netflix is that depending on how they introduce it, it, it could be in that gritty world of uh of dead i mean of uh daredevil i mean daredevil has set it up in a way that i would if you set up enough seasons i wouldn't it wouldn't be so far-fetched to me if blade lived in that universe and i mean look we have aliens we have all these different things guardians existed in the marvel cinematic universe so if vampires existed sure why not and if it, as long as it's not done cheesy and they find a way to do it but i'm wondering though if because it's so different the blade universe yeah. that you could say if they wanted to that those those movies did fit into the marvel cinematic universe because there's nothing to really retcon anything in there right no there's not and you know what's interesting too is that if you watch Expendables 3, and I'm not sure why you would, but and, and <laughs> Mel that, Gibson, that's why. That new series, The Player, that um that Wesley Snipes is in, if you look at the promo set, I gotta say, Snipes is looking good. I mean, he physically he looks good. He looks like he could step back in. I mean, he doesn't look as formidable as he used to, but very few people have. So I mean it, it raises some interesting possibilities. 